Hello and welcome to this video. This is a watch that is kind of strange for me. I mean, I have always been a sports guy and never liked to dress up. I can't even remember the last time I had to wear a suit. Honest. But I guess that when a guy gets into his 40s, he starts to be a different animal. On the other hand, the 1950s metallic sky blue, or baby blue if you wish, is my all-time favorite color. I simply find it fascinating. I absolutely adore it. This watch is almost that blue tone, that blue shade, although I find it almost impossible to sit well on a watch dial anyway. Although I might be wrong, I have never been good with colors. Well, I like it on machines, cars, cameras, toys, etc. I received it after waiting a lot, a month and a half. It was held in customs for a relatively long time and I had to pay 20 euros extra to release it. I took advantage of the November sales in AliExpress. I was expecting amazing quality, having heard so much about San Martin. I have to say that quality-wise it didn't disappoint at all. Everything is top-notch and this is the kind of company that is trying to improve the Chinese image abroad. Usually we mentally connect Chinese products with the words low cost and bad quality. Not with these guys, it seems. Alongside Baltany, they are really tight when we talk about quality control. I like that. This looks like a top quality luxury watch. Just look at that crown. Well, I started by shooting lots of footage, as you can see. But, and there is always a but, isn't it? I was disappointed. There was something missing there. I don't know. I felt that something was not completely right. After a lot, but really a lot of shots, I tried several leather straps and none was doing anything better than the original one until I remembered to try it on a mesh bracelet. Man, suddenly this watch transformed itself into something absolutely beautiful. This was the detail that was missing here. Finally, I managed to match those very nice silver Arabic numbers with something shiny and only a mesh bracelet could do it and improve the original look. Honestly, I believe that San Martin should sell this watch on a mesh bracelet, take new pictures and include the leather strap in the package for the customers that prefer it that way. Both can have quick release, so it is not a problem. It would be a very cheap upgrade and it enhances the look of the watch by a mile. I think they would sell much better. Just my opinion on a mesh bracelet and, in my humble opinion, it looks like a $5,000 watch. Film Director Watch It's a watch that I could see a famous film director using every day on his wrist. Maybe to time a particular shot or to indicate the perfect timing for the entrance of a second actor on scene. I can see it being used on a prize-winning awards ceremony, shining during the speech, competing with the award. I can also see it being the star in the party after the main event. Anyway, the finish of the case is immaculate. Transitions are amazing here. A mix of fine horizontal brushing on the sides and polishing below and on top. The back is sterile and it can be a bit tricky to open without the proper tool. It is fine brushed in the center in a circular pattern, polished in an angle and then features a blasted finish in the outer area. 
It is very smooth and comfortable. I can't complain a lot here. The lugs have a very nice curvature that helps in comfort. They are also drilled. The pushers and the crown are truly beautiful. The crown is push-pull, it is ultra smooth, it is signed. And the angled knurling is stunning. The detail in this area is fantastic. Note that there is a ghost date position in the crown, but to me that is not a problem at all. The action of the crown is really great, but the pushers are really stiff and require a lot of pressure to click. They claim 50 meters of water resistance. I really like the way the slightly domed crystal is boxed and sits proud on the top of the bezel. It is sapphire, so very scratch resistant and it complements the look of the watch with a beautiful distortion on the side. The styling is top-notch. It features anti-reflection coating on the inside and it looks very clear from all angles. The shiny dial does not help, but it does a great job. I really like the distortion. I know many people do not appreciate it, but I like it in this watch. I know the color they chose, or the colors, I should say, are not the best ever made or for everybody's tastes. But the watch is a quality product, no doubt. It is a watch to last for many years. A funny coincidence. Right after placing this order, I was on YouTube and I clicked on one of the recommended videos and suddenly this watch appears there. I am not an expert when it comes to wristwatches, so I was gladly happy to find out that this watch was a clone or a copy of a Patek Philippe from the 1930s. It is almost impossible to find one original and or the price is ridiculous. So I was happy with this. Of course, by using a modern movement, it is not a perfect copy. I can't say anything bad about it, to be honest. It is 20mm and tapers to 18mm. The buckle is signed and sports great quality as the leather used. It has quick release spring bars and it is very comfortable on the wrist. Stitching is also very nicely done. By being black, it is neutral in color and it transports all attention of the eye to the dial. The finish of the dial is fantastic and I am lost in words here. The dial is a copy of a watch with almost a hundred years now, so I cannot talk a lot about that. But they changed the colors and, in a way, it was for the worse. I would love this watch in white, like the original, shown here. Again, I don't dislike this, but the original color scheme is my favorite. In styling terms, well, the only thing I would say is that it still looks fantastic today as in the day it was originally created. By using a modern movement, it has a 60 minute counter for the chronograph at 9 o'clock and a useless 24 hour subdial at 3. This is the difference between this and the Patek Philippe original design. Here, there is no seconds running hand. The watch seems to have no movement at all when you look at it. The hex logo is below the 12 o'clock position, but the star here is the sunburst. It is beautiful and, while in movement, it changes color a lot as it reflects different shades and light for amazing blue tones. The applied indices are stunning. Amazing detail here. They are really shiny. The execution here is top level. Absolutely no complaints here. 
the tachymeter track is placed in the outside just after the minutes track. It features leaf style hands that are also very shiny and very well executed. They also reflect light in a very pleasing way. It really looks good, balanced and proportional. No date is favorable to this. It has the perfect measures for me. Case is 38 mm wide, 11.9 mm deep, lug to lug measures 46.7 mm and has 20 mm lugs. Weight is 60 grams. On my wrist it is simply perfect. Adjusting the perfect fit and wearing it on a mesh bracelet is a dream. By being a dress watch there is no lume, but it is so shiny that it does not matter at all. It uses a Seiko VK64, one of the best quartz movements out there, mecha quartz I should say. The chronograph functions are mechanical and tick 5 times per second while the rest is quartz technology. It is very precise, less than plus or minus a second per day in accuracy. It is very reliable and it was one of the deciders for this deal. It is a snapback chronograph and it is very nice, very different than simple quartz watches that sweep the rest of the cycle to reset. My watch did not count completely till 60 minutes and some seconds were missing. It's a watch with bling, it's a product that is not for everyone as it is a dress watch with vintage inspiration and the colors chosen are a bit strange, but for strange guys it is perfect. I have to say that there is another model with Roman numerals instead of Arabics, but I prefer this style by a mile. But in the very next day after I placed my order, San Martin decided to launch the Roman version in white with black text and... Have they done it a week before and I would probably choose that one. But I am not regretting on any way, but I have to say that if they also could do it for this model, it would also improve the sales by far, I guess. For me, it is the perfect dress watch, as long as it is on a mesh bracelet. After the initial disappointment, now I am really happy with it. If you enjoy this footage, just go for it. And this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, share it with your friends. Leave a line in the comments section if you have something to say or ask and subscribe for more videos like this. I see you in the next video. Take care.